Hey YouTubes, how's it going? Aida Kiki here. You know, I've been doing some research online and watching other people's videos. And I came across this guy who had a commuter. It was an aluminum frame, carbon forks. It weighed about 22-ish pounds, 23-ish around there. It got me thinking about my commuter and, you know, price per dollar and this and this and that. Now everyone just, you know, runs out and buys a bike. Doesn't build them as much as they should. Or as much as I think they should anyways. Um, this is my commuter right here that I'm focusing on. Uh, let me take a step back and you'll see other bikes on, you know, both sides. This is my garage. You know, I'll focus on this one for this video. Maybe do another video on some other ones. Who knows. This is a Park Pre with tan steel chromoly, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I picked this bike up at a yard sale. And it was frame, crankset, forks, quilm headset had different handlebars and rear caliper some little cheapo wheels for about forty dollars which was a great deal now if you zoom in on you know so it's a dura ace crankset and dura ace caliper the thing that intrigued me also is it has a shimano 600 headset i can't get a good picture of it but i've never seen a shimano 600 headset so, for $40, you know, I jumped on the price, didn't negotiate with the guy at all, which probably could have got it for 20 bucks. but anyways. Uh, I changed the handlebars to the, some Pursuit bars. Now, you know, maybe they're at the right angle, maybe they're not, but they're at the angle where I'm comfortable riding them. And they feel good to me. So, you know, some people like the more aggressive look, the more aggressive styling. You know, threw on the book, uh, Brooks Saddle. Now, the Brooks Saddle... I actually bought another bike for 120 with that saddle. I took off the saddle, I sold the remaining of the bike for about 150, made some money, kept the saddle. Wheels are retrospect, nothing fancy, aluminum, you know, fixy wheels. They came off my daughter's bike actually. She got a new uh wheel set and um kind of copped these off for her. You know, it's just a single speed commuter. 42 in the front with the 16 in the back bike rack in the back you know nothing fancy nothing this you know i actually like this paint job little patina on it has a big dent right there you know but i actually like it because it disturbs people and they leave it alone you know bike thieves look at the bike and don't see anything too too fancy about it don't see, you know, the quality that a parts that it has. They just see, you know, the little cheap paint job and not sure what it is. So they just kind of pass by it. Park Pre, I never heard of. But the parts, the parts are what got me to get the bike and look, do more research. Turns out the designer of this bike, I'm sorry, the person who made this bike designed bikes for like Bianchi and what's the other one? Nashiki and all those fancy brands back in the 80s and then he did his own bicycle now that's the story I found out about the guy my local bike shop actually loved the frame he used to sell it back in the 80s and had nothing good things to say about the frame so I was like eh, it's a steel frame you know now why I went with the steel frame versus an aluminum frame is I'm not your typical cyclist you know I'm six one weigh about 240 pounds right now so, you know, I needed something stronger and something that could take my, my beating more than aluminum on a daily basis. So I went with the steel. And so far, you know, I ride it hard. I don't worry about it. You know, I throw it around. The only thing I worry about is my saddle. Just because it's really nice, you know. And even then, I didn't pay much for it, so it doesn't hurt me too, too bad if it gets a rip or a tear. It's just more I want to take care of it because it's a really nice saddle. Uh, other than that, you know, the bike is used, you know, three out of five times out of work. I do half drive, half commute, because, you know, it gets kind of late, dark. And, uh, I, I don't want to, I don't want to ride in the dark. Too many crazy people out there. I got, you know, two rear lights right there. I got a front light right there. Nothing special, nothing total ordinary. The crazy part is I'm in this bike for under 200, maybe 150. But definitely under 200 And I'm like, for the price, can I have bought something this nice and this smooth? I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have gone to, you know, your bike shop. First, you can't go to a bike shop and buy one for about, you know, 150 Probably go to Target or Walmart. And then you get those crappy bikes that are not made right. This, you know, just goes to show you what you could buy if you're able 
are willing to put in some work and time into, you know, what you want to do. So this was just me talking about my bike and seeing, you know, I wish more people built their own. Because every kid I talk to, like, oh, I just bought this brand new bike. I just bought this. I just bought that. And here I am with, you know, $150, $200 bike. And I'm like, dude, I beat and abused this thing like crazy. Anyways, let me know what you think about it. Later.